Hello, and this is so great to be here in Seoul. The last couple of years were very difficult all around the world for the performing arts. Because of COVID, we were not being able to perform. I supposed to come here about two years ago, but I couldn't. We all were feeling the quarantines. We all were feeling the absence of the public, absence of the audience. Finally, now, almost everywhere in the world, we are able to perform for live public. And this is so important for us. This is so great that we can see your faces, that we can feel your presence, we can feel your passion, and we can be together with you. We can share the experience together with the audience. Audience is one of the most important parts of any performance. And without audience, obviously, we were trying to do our best, but it is, of course, very different. We are so happy that the public is back to the concert halls and that we are able to perform for everybody listening us live. I have a very fond memories from the concerts and the audience in 2018, from the very warm reception here in Seoul, from the very young audience, one of the youngest perhaps by the average age in the world, and from the orchestra who feel embracing the audience and, and who feel the unity with the audience and with the music. For me, it's a very fun and very good memories almost four years ago, and I'm looking forward for even better concerts this week. I've been collaborating with Kirill Gerstein, our soloists, many, many times. We performed on stage many, many times together. We even recorded several things together with him, most noticeably Scrabin Piano Concerto and Prometheus. And I'm looking forward to have another great experience and great music making with Kirill, who is not only a great musician, but also a good friend of mine. And Bruckner's Second Symphony, for me, that will be first time since 2001 or 2002, when I've conducted it for the last time, so nearly 20 years ago. Bruckner's Second Symphony is one of the first really big pieces of music he decided to publish. There exists Symphony Number no. 1, Symphony Number no. 0, and even Symphony Number no. Double Zero, which he written before. But this is the first symphony which he presented to Richard Wagner, his idol. He wanted the symphony to be dedicated to Wagner, but Wagner preferred the third symphony to be dedicated to him. Bruckner also offered the second symphony to Liszt to be dedicated to him. But Liszt famously forgotten the score in one of the hotel rooms, which was a big upset for Bruckner and who never then came to Liszt back again. But this is a symphony of the great spirituality, as many of the other Bruckner symphonies. This is a symphony of finding its own way, finding its own guilt, finding its own life, finding its own uh, redemption. And this is a story of the Bruckner life. Being very devoted Catholic, he always was trying to find through his music the way to salvation, the way how we can live here on the earth better how we can bring the better world the better future and this is what the symphony about many doubts about the human existence many doubts about the fatality of the world many doubts about the contrast between the beautiful nature and beautiful world we live on and the deeds which human and humanity does it is very relevant now as we are in the big tumult in the world as we are in a big tensions in many parts of the world, as we are in war in some parts of the world, we have to make peace, we have to find how to live in peace and how all together we can bring better and more prosperous future. We believe in it, Bruckner did believe in it, and we hope that everyone will find its own belief into the future. I'm so much looking forward for the concerts this week and I would like to invite you all into this beautiful world of Liszt and Bruckner, into the world of beauty in music, beauty in spirit, and beauty in the orchestra.